Okay, hello everyone again. Um, here we are on Bandit level 2 to level 3. Uh, the level goal is the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. We've got the same commands that we had to use before and we've got another helpful Google uh, search here. But we can tell straight away, or at least this hints, the name hints to the fact that Maybe the fact that there's some spaces in this file name is going to cause a problem when we try and use the cat command to read the contents of that file. So I've already logged into Bandit 2 and let's just give it a go the same way as we did before. We use ls to, to view the, the files in, that, in this directory and we have the, the file that we expect, spaces in this file name, and then we try and use cat spaces in this file name and yeah it hasn't worked right it's come up with cat spaces no such file or directory cat in no such file or directory cat this no such file or directory and cat file name no such file or directory so what's happened here is the cat command because the cat command concatenates the contents of several files and displays them to the output to standard output, it's tried to find a file called spaces, a file called in, a file called this, and a file called file name, which will it will try and concatenate together. So the spaces are a big problem in the way we write the, the file name. Uh, normally in Linux, you would try never to use spaces, or at least I've always been read and told not to, to use spaces, use hyphens, um, just to avoid these sorts of problems from happening. So we need a way to specify or to, to sort of tell the program that, that actually these spaces are part of the file name. We need to encapsulate the file name some way so that it knows that, uh, which we can do with double quotes, speech marks. So if we write the file name like this, and, and just to show you here as well, if I hit tab now, it completes the file name for me. That's because it, it looks to see that there's only going to be one file name that that fits, um, that's possible. So it, it auto-completes for me. If there was more than one, it would sort of show maybe a couple of options. Um, and, and it's just super handy and helpful. It speeds things up loads using tab. So, so get used to using tab auto-complete as well. Uh, we hit enter. And there it is. As easy as that, we've got the next um, the next password. Uh, just to show you another way as well, whilst I'm here, um, another thing we can do in Linux is if we want to uh, stop the, the the shell from interpreting our spaces or any other character, if there's special characters, um, to stop it interpreting them in, in the way that we that the shell wants to, we can use the backslash symbol. That will escape that character. So if I was to write spaces backslash space, which is now telling the the shell that to ignore this space, don't treat it as a usual space, um, in this. And if I try and or tab autocomplete, it might even do it, and it does. And hit enter, and it works because because that backslash has, has removed the sort of space, the usual meaning from the space. So that can that can also be very handy in in certain situations as well, and I'm sure we'll have to use that again at some point. Uh, but yeah, so that's that one done, um, and on to the next one. See what happens there. Okay, thank you.